Good. Jim McDougal's all good, too. CEO of Free Enterprise Nation out in Tampa, God bless him, nice and warm. Jim, we got to talk about how the country in general is, we know we're going broke, but in particular, the post office, Social Security, uh, unfortunately, they're very depressing stats. Let's start with the post office. Not looking good, huh? No, it's not looking good at all. You know, they have a deal at the post office that if you have your job for eight years, you can't be fired. Hmm. So uh, they have a huge overhead of people that they can't get rid of and a uh, huge pension and welfare cost. And uh, I don't think there's any, any hope in sight for them except for another government bailout. That is shocking that they've got such high uh, employment costs, particularly when you talk about fixed benefit retirement costs. Jim, we're talking about changing it to a five-day uh, delivery period here. Are any of these suggestions going to help? I don't see that cutting enough costs. No, they always come up with ways that they say they're going to cut costs, but they're going to keep their salaries and their, and their, and their payrolls right. the same. They may get rid of some of the more junior people, but at every level of government, uh, what they're talking about is reducing services so that they can continue to bear the burden of these really unsustainable retirement costs that they have. So what's the answer for the post office? I mean, does it go by the wayside? Clearly we know traffic is down. People are sending Valentine's Day cards via email these days. So uh, is it necessary? That's a very good question. You know, there are some people think, why don't we just get rid of it and privatize it? Mm. Uh, it seems to me from personal observation that most of the mail I get is bulk mail, uh, yeah. by catalogs and so yes. forth. I don't get a lot of letters. Uh, so uh, it may be something that they should just raise the heck out of the prices <laughs> to continue those services or close it down. I'm always amazed, Jim, that you put a piece of, you throw a 40 cent stamp or whatever it is nowadays. I don't even know. This is how, uh, this is how often I mail something out, I almost never mail anything out, but you throw a little stamp on it, you drop it into a box, it ends up across the country two or three days later. I'm still amazed that it actually works that efficiently, and we still sent 177 billion pieces of mail last year, so it isn't like it isn't being used. I think something has to be in place, though. Well, you know, the problem with the post office is really the same as, as you have with every other uh, government institution. Uh, they have such enormous costs for salaries and pensions and retirement benefits that they can't operate effectively. That, that's true of the federal government. It's true of state governments. It's true of city governments. They've got this burden of cost that is absolutely unsustainable. And the only way that they can survive is either reduce services or raise the heck out of what they mm. charge, either for postage stamps or for taxes. They raise, though, uh, odds, if they raise the cost of a postage or the cost to mail anything, that just defeats the whole purpose. Less people will use it. More people will go to the web. So it almost, it's like they're shooting themselves in the foot. It does seem like they shoot themselves in the foot, but if you're paying people seventy or seventy-five thousand dollars a year and let them, letting them retire at age fifty or fifty-five, and we're going to pay them for the rest of their lives, uh, that's a cost that, that 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 nobody can afford to bear. And unless they face that fact, same same problem that General Motors faced, they've built a legacy of costs that they cannot afford to bear, and nobody can afford to pay for. It's a it's an absolutely perfect example of government overall. We have on our website at thefreeenterprisenation.org, uh, if you look under our research under bankruptcy, you'll see the number of municipalities that are considering or have already gone bankrupt for the same reason. It's scary. And talking about bankrupt, I've thought almost since I've started working that my 6.5% that goes to Social Security for every check uh, is just an another tax. That's a gift. I'm not seeing any of that. I certainly am not seeing as much as I've put in. Is that feeling growing, you think, among people in this country? Well, it's growing to the extent that they get educated about it. You know, in, in, in the early 1980s, the federal government knew that when baby boomers hit retirement in 2011, they weren't going to have enough money to transfer from existing workers to retired workers. So they raised the heck out of your contribution to FICA and your employers' mm -hmm. matching contribution to FICA. They collected $2.5 trillion during the last 25 years, more than they needed, and they spent it all. There's nothing there. And now you're supposed to figure out how you're going to be able to continue to pay the burden for people you've already paid for, plus have your own retirement, and it can't be done. The government has to face the fact that it can't be done. Right, so what's the answer to this one? Because this, to me, is scary. Many people call Social Security, you know, the, one of the biggest Ponzi schemes out there. Because huh. as you've said, we've borrowed from our future, essentially, used the money for other things, much like 
me buying a pair of shoes before I actually get paid. So what happens to all these people that are still relying on this money? It's a, it's a very, very scary thought. The, the trustees have estimated that the Social Security and Medicare unfunded liability is $106 trillion. In 2008, the total personal income taxes paid were $1 trillion, which means it would take 106 years of all the personal income taxes paid by everybody in America to pay for the unfunded liability. It is an absolutely chaotic situation that Congress will not tackle. They've been talking about health insurance for the last year fiddling while Rome burns when Social Security and Medicare are in terrible shape. I would go to freeenterprisenation.com if you want more details. Jim, thank you so much for that. We appreciate it. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Tracy. Thanks, nice to Jim. be here. Yeah, Jim that was McDougald, great.